Well, a very warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you so much for joining us at this book launch, uh, the book launch of Toon Doctor City Hasma Muhammad Ali, the Accidental Doctor. Uh, I think it's in the evening or in the afternoon for some of us. A uh, very warm welcome to all of you. Uh, this book, as you know, is the first installment in the book series, Women Who Shaped Asia. Uh, and it's written by authors Eva Wong and Jun Ho and illustrated by Deb Smita Dasgupta. So before we start, let me just uh, give you some information about this series. The Woman Who Shaped Asia series aims not just to educate, but also to motivate. These are stories that celebrate the amazing accomplishments of women from the region, their remarkable strength in the face of adversity, and sheer determination to make it possible for their dreams to be fulfilled no matter how big. They remind our young readers that great things are accomplished by people who were once little, just like them. So this uh, first book in the series is such an important book because it focuses on Tun City, a Southeast Asian woman, um, and her story is not widely known. For example, I wonder how many of you know she was the first female uh, Malay doctor to graduate from the University of Malaya. For a long time, female Southeast Asian leaders were not in the spotlight. And though there are many books on Lee Kuan Yew and Go Chok Tong, there really isn't a lot of children's books about our famous women leaders, not to mention in the uh, area of STEM as well. So World Scientific is very privileged and honored to publish this book and this series to fill the gaps in that market and to empower and inspire little girls and boys in Asia and all around the world. Um, surely we will be able to see that Toon City story is about an ordinary girl uh, who through hard work and determination ended up being Malaysia's very first female Malay doctor and then Malaysia's first lady. So allow me to introduce you now to the creators of this uh, very special book. Uh, Eva Wong Nava, author, is uh, an award-winning children's book author and she definitely um, has a mission. She writes stories to entertain, uh, to engage and enthrall children to read and to be curious. Uh, she is also an advocate for diversity and for stories that empower young readers, especially girls, to be fearless, strong, and tough. When not writing for children, Eva, Eva is, is the one on the left of the screen. Uh, Eva teaches the art and craft of picture book creation. And she is also joined by her uh, fellow author, they wrote together, Jun Ho, who is an intrepid wandering booktuber uh, and she has her own channel it's the no bull channel she has been using this youtube channel to promote and restore people's passion for reading uh, and help them to fully understand how books can truly change lives she has interviewed authors connected with fellow lovers of books from all around the world and also she shares her thoughts on the eclectic mix of books that she reads she loves to share her love for traveling with her subscribers and is unrelenting in her pursuit to inspire and motivate others. June can often be found with her head buried in a book from her unending reading list. And you can see June over there. And of course, we have the illustrator, uh, Smita uh, Dasgupta is a Singapore-based, internationally published Kirkus Prize nominated illustrator and graphic novelist. Um, Smita enjoys drawing both fiction and nonfiction for children and young adults. She has illustrated over 20 picture books, comics, and poems, and she is widely known as an art for change advocate. Uh, Smita tells stories of change makers from around the world, partnering with global nonprofits. Her art has been exhibited across the globe and more than 40 international media outlets have featured it. Her debut independent graphic novel, Nadia, 
was published by Scholastic and is critically acclaimed in many countries. So we have a wonderful uh, team of authors and uh, illustrators with us. And before we start uh, the launch proper, just a few housekeeping rules to follow throughout the, the webinar. Uh, firstly, of course, please turn off your camera, keep yourself on mute throughout the webinar. Um, secondly, if there are any questions that you have for our authors and illustrator uh, during the Q&A session, uh, please put that in the chat. Uh, this session will be recorded and will be shared on our social media pages, the pages of World Scientific. So please feel free to pop by our Facebook page if you want to re-watch the webinar again or share it with your friends. And final housekeeping rule, uh, this book is of course available for purchase on our website with a limited time discount. So please head down to our website if you are interested, there's information on the screen right now. Um, and without further ado, let's actually start off the book launch with a message from Toon City herself. Hello everyone. This is to Dr. Siti Hasma. Uh, I hope you enjoy reading this book. Uh, believe in yourself and determine to fulfill your dreams. And please read and read and read a lot of books so that not only you will be improving your English, but also increasing your knowledge. So read more and uh, enjoy. Bye-bye. Well, that was a very lovely message from Toon City, the uh, focus of our children's book. And if you've just joined us, welcome once again to the launch of this new book about women who shape uh, Asia and shape the world. So now I'll just go into a quick uh, question and answer session for the authors and the illustrator. We have them with us, of course, we have Eva. Uh, and June, and of course, Smita, I see them all here. So I'm going to ask you guys questions in turn. Uh, let's start with Eva. Eva, I have two questions for you. Uh, well, let's start sure. with the first one. What made you and your team propose a series of picture book biographies? Well, hello, everyone. Thank you for coming to the launch, firstly, and thank you, Ruth, for being the MC. Um, the question really is um, what made me choose women and what made, made me choose um, picture book biographies. Um, I love, I mean, I love reading about people. I mean, I, I like reading biographies and I read as much as I can. And I also love exploring picture book biographies. Um, they are not new to the market. In fact, in the USA, um, there are many, many um, picture book biographies. In fact, in, in the US market, it's actually, they're so saturated that um, agents are really not, um, you know, they're, they're saying, you know, no more picture book biographies, other ones, please, you know, that kind of other books or, you know, please. So, um, but in Asia, I see that we haven't that many in our, our region, in our markets. Um, and as June has mentioned, um, and as, as you've mentioned, Ruth, sorry, that um, we have many women whose stories are so lesser told and you know, they need to be told. We know of them, but we don't know enough about them. So I wanted to make some changes. I wanted to affect change in our region, in our market, and to really inspire um, other picture book creators out there because there's room to um, you know, work on this um, and also to inspire um, young readers. Um, you know, young girls especially. Yeah. So that's why um, I got together with my friend June, with my mm -hmm. other friend, um, Deborah Smitter, and, you know, proposed this um, book series. Mm. Definitely very important to fill that gap and to inspire uh, young women and, of course, men as well, little girls and boys uh, in Asia. Um, and so I guess that answers the second question. I wonder if you have anything uh, to add. My second question was, why focus on women of Asia? 
Well, I'm a woman of Asia, <laughs> firstly. <laughs> um, and I think we have a lot of heroes, a lot of heroines mm-hmm. out there that really need um, our attention, you know. Yes, and Tun City yeah. is definitely a very suitable and appropriate uh, start to this series. Uh, let me turn my attention now to June, uh, the other author. Uh, June, hi, how are you? Hi everyone. Hi. So glad to see everyone who is here joining us today and also a special shout out to all our Malaysian friends. Uh, Selamat Hari Kemerdekaan. Happy National Day. Oh yes, it's National Day today. That's right. Public (laughs) holiday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I have a question for June. Why and how did the team come up with the decision to start with Tun City? Ah, right. Actually, I had the um, privilege of meeting uh, Toon City earlier on mm-hmm. when she first launched her memoir. And uh, Toon City is an amazing storyteller. She has uh, her sense of humor <laughs> and her sense of timing when she delivers a story is amazing. And that's all captured in her memoir as well. And I remember at that time thinking that, well, you know, I think more people should have access to these stories, you know, not just adults, you know, I think there are a lot of stories that were very funny and I think that, you know, that kids uh, can also appreciate because uh, the background to how, um, uh, how she went from, you know, studying and then, you know, not just following the conventional route at that time, girls tend to get married very young. Uh, Mm -hmm. Not only did she get married young, she went on to, you know, pursue a career of her own as well. And uh, on that note, I just wanted to mention that, uh, just a, a bit of a correction there, she was not the first Malay lady yeah. to become doctor in Malaysia, but rather the first Malay lady to graduate at the then That's University right. of Malaya. It was right. a, right. Back in the day, the, the medical school was actually in Singapore and then subsequently went through a lot of changes. Yeah, so she was actually the first Malay lady to, get, to uh, graduate from the Faculty of Medicine of University of Malaya then, yeah. so. Uh, so when, when Eva came up with this idea that we should, you know, do a story and, 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 I, and the first person that came to mind, you, you've got to feature Toon City. This lady has a lot of stories that they're very funny. Okay, she's funny and, and she's so inspiring. And I think, um, and you're right, we do need to spotlight more on uh, women from around this particular region, uh, you know, uh, so that the world can also hear our voices as well. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Thank you very much. I, my second question is about the activity pages at the back of the book. Would you like to just give us uh, a sense of what these pages are and why they were included? Right. So I think it's also part of us wanting to, people not to just read the story, but we want them to reflect as well. So therefore, we included those extra questions um, so to engage children in conversations. It can be a very simple conversation with very simple activities, followed by even deeper conversations that parents or teachers can have with our young readers as well. It's just to set them thinking, you know. So it's not just reading, but we want them to be affected by the book so that they can be inspired, they can be motivated. And you know, they, these are heroes that, these are heroes that they can relate to. This is someone so close to home, someone from around mm-hmm. our region. It does not seem so far away. And so we know that we can do great things too. Indeed, yeah, and these activity pages will definitely make the book uh, more interactive and- um, Absolutely and more um, experiential for the children and the parents and the families who are reading uh, together or alone. Uh, Absolutely. So let me turn my attention to Smita. Hello, Smita. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Thank you so, so much. So happy to sharing. have you all here. <laughs> so I have some questions for you as well. Firstly, what was your illustration process? And do you have any special anecdotes you can share with us as you were illustrating this book? Sure. Um, first of all, I mean, uh, this book, you know, to me, of course, every picture book is very exciting project, but this in particular, uh, as you know, as June and Eva were mentioning that her story is so inspiring that that was the biggest source of inspiration for my art. But one of the most challenging things was we were covering a, a long span of time in the book, like, you know, a picture book is only like 32 pages and we were 
covering from 1930s to the modern time, you know, or now how she lives. So I had to actually, you know, do tons of visual research. I must say, I mean, I'm not going to complain because I love that process. I'm not sure whether my co-creators really loved it because I kept on pestering them with a lot of questions and like, please give me more visuals, give me the fabric prints. And all so they had to frantically look for all those stuff for me. But uh, we, we just wanted to make the process more and more authentic because it's a picture book biography. So as much as possible, we tried to reflect the truth through the visuals. And that's why a lot of work went into the research part, mm -hmm. the visual research part, including, you know, uh, documenting scores of photographs of people, of places, of, you know, uh, the way they dress, the fabric textures and everything. So, yeah, I mean, that was one of the most exciting parts in the process. And your illustrations, Smita, are beautiful. I'm sure everyone will agree. Just wonderful, beautiful illustrations. Thank you so much. Um, I don't see any questions from our audience so far. Nobody has decided to ask anything. So we're going to move on now to watching the video from none other than Toon City's daughter, Datin Taduka Marina. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Marina Mahadeer. Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Eva, June and Spita for launching the series uh, Women Who Shape Asia and for featuring my mom, Toon Dr. Siti Hasma, as the first uh, woman in the series. I really do think that uh, women are undervalued, underrepresented uh, in books, in history books, particularly uh, around Asia and also uh, that uh, young children are never told about them uh, and their contributions to nation building, peace building, development, etc. Only uh, male contributors. So I'm really, really happy uh, about uh, this series and I really do hope that um, it will be circulated widely and much appreciated by young people, especially young girls who I think need really good role models and to know that there have been extraordinary women who have helped to shape Asia. My mother uh, has been an amazing woman. She worked from graduation all the way until retirement as a doctor, as a, med a medical doctor, medical officer of health. She helped to uh, institute changes in our system that protected mothers uh, and children at childbirth and uh, many other things um, including um, helping in the drug prevention program in Malaysia. So I'm really honored that you have chosen her for the first one and I hope this will spur uh, you to produce many many more books like this. Uh, because we really, really need them. Mm. To young people uh, out there, uh, I hope you will read this book. I hope you will realize that uh, there are many, many women who have contributed to our development and you will be inspired by their work and their struggles to do the same yourself because you are the future and we need you to help develop our countries. Thank you very much and congratulations again. Bye. That was a wonderful yeah. video and I feel like we should, you know, applause, but of course we're in the <laughs> webinar. I think, I think Marina, she is here with us. Uh, I think she's oh. here with us. Uh, oh Katmarina, if you, if you see us and you can hear us, oh, thank yes. you so much. Okay, we are applauding for you. Yeah, this is your message. I mean, Katmarina herself is an inspiring woman. She has done so much as well. So clearly inspired mm. by Twin City. So thank you, Katmarina, for that wonderful message. Thank you. <laughs> Indeed, thank you so much. Uh, and this will now lead us to the final section of our book launch, where I would just like to invite uh, the creators of the book to just speak a few words from their heart 
Uh, why don't we start with Smita first and then we'll go backwards. So we'll do Smita and then June and we'll end off with Eva. So Smita, what would you like to say uh, from your heart about this book? Sure. I mean, thanks for going the other way around. <laughs> um, uh, I, I really want to say that this book is, is a special one. It's about an Asian Shiro that not many people know about. I mean, I know here in this region, people know about Toon City, but uh, not many people from other parts of the world know about her, her incredible story. And I just really hope from the bottom of my heart that this book will reach out to more and more people and looking and reading at, uh, you know, at her, fr from her story, basically, lo looking at the visuals and reading from the story of this incredible woman, I really feel that her positive story is going to inspire creating more positive stories around the world. So that's my hope. And I'll pass the microphone over now to June. <laughs> um, virtual microphone. Virtual microphone, <laughs> yes. First of all, um, it's an absolute privilege to work with an incredible all-women team. So hooray for that, okay? Not only that, uh, we are also multinational. <laughs> so it's a cross-border effort. So we are ref we're checking all the boxes here, girls, okay? And, uh, and this means a lot to me and uh, extra special because it's now being launched on Malaysia's National Day. So there are a lot of milestones here that we are marking. And uh, while I'm here, I just wanted to say, uh, I know my sister is watching, so thank you, Jeje, for always being there for me. And uh, I'm so inspired by my, uh, I don't say this very often, I guess I'm very inspired by my mom and of course my sister. So, and now being able to work with a team of women and bringing this book out, it really means a lot to me. And I hope it inspires little girls everywhere to strive and to be brave and to believe in themselves and to know that dreams are possible. Okay, you can cry now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, tissues. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, of course, how about Eva? Well, this series is special to me because I'm an Asian woman, as I said. I'm also a feminist and I really do want to tell, um, you know, stories of women and women who have affected change. Um, change is important to me because I think when we move, as we progress through life, we change. We change as women, you know, um, you know from a young girl to a mother, to wife, mother, and, you know, um, the whole gamut to coming to where we are at this stage in our lives, at least in my stage, in my stage of life, um, you know, in, in, in my early fifties, I realized that, you know, there's so many stories out there that of women, you know, that I know of or heard of, but I don't see them being told and, you know, by others. I think for me, um, from my heart, I really do want to make, um, you know, I want to change the scene in Singapore, in, in the region, uh, in terms of picture books for children, for girls especially. That's me. Okay, such an inspiring goal. Uh, before we end, I just feel we need to just show the book. You know, we've been talking about this book and Toon City, but where is the book? So I think June, uh, Smita has a copy. Uh, maybe you need to say something, Smita. So that you're, you're on the focus of the screen. And I see a few other people holding up books now. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, well, I, I see we have a freelance model who's offering to hold the book for us. <laughs> okay, you, have to, you have to speak, otherwise, uh, I think, June, if you can hold up the book. Yep. So that Let you will be. Change the background uh, a little bit. Yep. There you go. And we have a. a, a a secret guest holding up the book as well. <laughs> That's the freelance Chawa, model. Chawa, Chawa Mando. That's my husband. Yeah. I think I, think I, I see my husband holding yeah. up the book. Chawa Mando, thank you very much. <laughs> we said okay. this is an international team, right? <laughs> yes. Absolutely. This is the true spirit of this book. And we just hope that it reaches out to all of you. And you all give her the love like the way you have actually like give her the love through this book the way you love her yes 
Thank yeah. you so much, Smita. Hooray. Um, that marks the <laughs> end of our, our very short but impactful book launch. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. Uh, and once again, if you would like to watch the video again, uh, it will be up on Facebook uh, and on various social media platforms. We hope that you have a lovely national uh, day for Malaysia and uh, for the rest of us, a nice day as well. And we hope to see you again for another book talk. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. everyone. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thanks to my husband who was holding the book from <laughs> Singapore. I'm coming to you from London. Thank That's you. why there's Thank that gap. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.